The Whittle Tatum Company, or Whittle Tatum, was one of the first glass factories in America. Topic history Located in Millville, New Jersey, it was in operation from 1806 through 1938. The location was ideal for making glass because silica based sand is plentiful in southern New Jersey. The Morris River flowing through Millville provided a source of water, and plentiful forests provided energy for industrial processes. The Millville Glass Works was founded by James Lee and went through several changes of ownership. In 1838, John M. Whittle became a partner in the business. He lived in Philadelphia and worked at the company's headquarters there. In 1845 after his brother Israel Franklin Whittle joined, the firm became Whittle, Brother and Company. Later, Edward Tatum also joined the partnership and in 1857 the name was again changed to Whittle Tatum and Company and later in 1901 to Whittle Tatum Company. I. F. Whittle and Edward Tatum headed the company after John M. Whittle retired in 1865, and the ownership was passed to their descendants. Whittle Tatum produced bottles, jars, and vials throughout much of the 19th century. Antique bottle collectors prized the Whittle Tatum druggist, perfume, chemical and other types of bottles. The company developed several innovations in formulas used to make the glass, and in the manufacturing methods for bottles. At first bottles were cast in metal molds, which left a casting line, and later ceramic and wood casts were developed for flint glass which allowed the glass to be molded without a casting line. Glass types included flint glass, blue and green glass, and artistic colored swirls, used for decoration and paperweights often made by the glass workers during their lunch hour. Whittle Tatum Mass produced special order prescription bottles for hundreds of pharmacies, such as Smith & Hodgson in downtown Philadelphia, embossed with their names and addresses and also marked W.T. & Co. on the base. These mostly date from 1875 up to 1900. In 1901 the company name was changed to Whittle Tatum Company and the base marking became WTCO, and for a decade from the 1920s on, the trademark became a W and T inside a triangle. Whittle Tatum entered the insulator manufacturing market in 1922, mass producing them for use on power and communications lines across the country. Armstrong Cork Corporation purchased Whittle Tatum in 1938, continuing insulator production under the Armstrong trademark. Production continued after a 1969 purchase by Kerr Glass Manufacturing Co. until about 1976. One final run of Kerr DP1s was manufactured in 1978. These particular units have flat domes, and are rather scarce among insulators found in the wild. The former Whittle Tatum plant in Millville was purchased by a series of companies, including American National Can Company. Ball Foster purchased the factory in 1995, and in 1999, after 193 years of nearly continuous glass production, the factory was shut down. The buildings where the WT glass furnaces sat have been demolished. 